Have you ever tried EMDR? That's what we did. That's what I did. And it, and it, it does work. Dude, I've never been that hysterical in my life where you keep doing the same thing over on events, and on over, events, yeah. over. Stay there, stay there. Close your eyes. Follow my finger. Follow my finger. Yeah. Buddy. I did the machine. I didn't think I was worthy enough. I was like, no, this is for PTSD. This is for like veterans, people who lose life. I didn't think my shit was, and all of a sudden she taps into something. Yeah. And this devastation I felt as a kid comes out. And what's crazy about this is there's some science to it, but then you know that happened, but it doesn't affect you the same way. And it worked for me. It worked for you. So you were able to acknowledge that it happened. It's there. You somehow forgave him. Well, what happened was after going, after leaving there and eating, when I was eating, I thought to myself, what? There's, there's a connection now between my, my childhood and my trauma and my body, right? I, I could, could make that, you know, the, between the brain and your body, there's a connection between. And I thought to myself, oh my God, there, I, I have to deal with this, right? So then that's when I went to, PCS in um, Arizona. How long? For two weeks. And it was um, from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. You're in, you're doing EMDR. Did you do art therapy? Art therapy. Psychotherapy. Everything, yeah, everything, yeah. everything. Expensive? Uh, yeah, pretty expensive. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> so you, did you go in there thinking, were you open-minded or at first you were kind of like, uh, 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 and then all of a sudden you realize, wait a minute, something's happening. Well, when I walked in there the first day, I remember the lady, Marilyn Murphy, can't, comes out and she's explain, and I'm in a group and you're with the same group for the whole time. Right. And you're in a group with these people that are like, you know, there's one Orthodox Jewish guy with the little ha the hairs and the hat. Paisus. Whatever. Right. And then, um, you know, I mean, there's a house ma, you know, a wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, there's... I had someone staying with me and like, you have to check out if you yeah, want to take a walk. Yeah, yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in the beginning, you're like, oh, what the fuck is this? Exactly. Shit? Like, right. Oh, fuck. And, but then w it's so funny because when it was over, I didn't want to leave them. I didn't. They're right. my best friends. Yeah. You know, you know what it is? You feel safe for the first time in your life. I bet you really felt safe. Yeah. And I also like working on myself. I enjoy um, um, the process of feeling better. And dealing with things, you know? So, you know, by doing that process, I remember I did an EMDR session. And what they made me do is they made me go to a, a mall and go to a um, Build-A-Bear. And I, I go, why do I have to go to a fucking mall? And they go, well, because we want you to um, make a doll that represents your original child. The child that first comes out of the womb, you know, that needs just love, attention, affection, support, attention, yeah. nurturing all the things that a baby needs, you know? And so I remember getting the doll and I remember um, when I was eating with Kalila, cause Kalila went with, with me to the mall and I was holding the baby while I was eating and she cried the way I was holding the fucking doll. You're holding yourself. I was holding myself, yeah. And you meant it, you were doing the work. Yeah. You weren't trying to be funny, you were doing no, it. No, yeah, and then I then that day, later that day I did an EMDR session where um, it was about one traumatic experience with my dad. And then she told me to pull out my doll and then, you know, tell your original self, right? You mean the, how you're going to protect him. And I, I, I ended up on the fucking ground crying so hard holding this thing. Yeah. And then, um, and, cause I didn't grieve my dad. And then when I walked out of that session, I said, one thing i miss you dad I, bro for two hours i had to have people pick me up from the asphalt i was crying so hard 